A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had ordered them, and when they saw him, they worshipped, but some doubted. Then Jesus approached and said to them, All power in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the spring of 1960, two distinguished people received honorary degrees from the University of Notre Dame. One of them was President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who of course had also been in command of the Allied forces in Europe during the closing days of World War II. The other was Cardinal Giovanni Battista Montini, who three years later would become Pope Paul VI. At a gathering prior to the commencement ceremonies, Cardinal Montini presented President Eisenhower with a gift. It was a small sculpture of an angel holding in each of its hands the pieces of a broken chain. And when the Cardinal gave that sculpture to President Eisenhower, he said, thanks to your action, Europe was set free from a terrible tyranny and religion can be practiced once again. And President Eisenhower was very choked up about this and later told the future Pope that this sculpture summed up the whole meaning of his life's work. We face a unique situation today. We are combining the Feast of Memorial Day, which is a secular feast, with the Feast of the Lord's Ascension into Heaven. But the Gospel provides us with an opportunity to link these two observances. Jesus in the Gospel, before ascending into Heaven, commands his followers to spread the gospel to the ends of the earth. In order for that proclamation to take place, liberty of religion is needed. And during the time that President Eisenhower led our forces in Europe, one of their major accomplishments was to restore religious liberty to the European people who had been held in Nazi bondage. So when we remember our veterans today, let us give thanks for the sacrifices they have made to make the free proclamation of faith possible. Jesus promises us he will not leave us alone. Jesus promises us that even though we do not see him as we saw him when he walked on the earth, we do have his presence. During these days of the pandemic, many have been pondering the meaning of the Eucharist in a new way, perhaps because it has become more difficult for us to receive it. But the Lord is not only present in the Eucharist, the Lord is present in every aspect of our lives. He ascended into heaven to send us his Holy Spirit and his Holy Spirit is with us in order to provide a link with the risen Lord seated at the Lord's right hand. Many people are wondering what kind of world will emerge from our pandemic. And I think that is pretty much up to us. The Lord is giving us an opportunity to prune our trees, to focus on what is essential in life. 
And since Jesus has given us this great commission to spread the gospel, we might want to ask ourselves on this Feast of the Ascension, what aspects of my life keep me from proclaiming or illuminating the gospel to others? What aspects of my life are a hindrance to making the Lord Jesus' presence better known? He does not abandon us. There is a sense of sorrow, of course, that we can identify in the apostles when they realize he's not going to stay on the earth. But there is also this abiding sense of his guidance, of his watchfulness, of his oneness with the Father, with his ability to link us to the entire Trinity. In gratitude for the great gifts that Jesus gives us, let us exercise the freedom we have to live out and share our religion, a freedom so dearly bought as we remember on this Memorial Day. We pray that the world may become better, that the world may become more of a reflection of Jesus Christ and God's goodness. May all those who have died in war, may all those who have died in pandemics, may all of us know the glory of the risen Lord and the new life he gives us through opening the gates of heaven for us this day.